Welcome in to Studio 814 on this Monday morning. We're so happy that you're here with us. If you're going to go through a Monday, might as well do it together, right? Yes. I'm Morgan Cozier. And I'm Rebecca Petner. I do feel like it feels like a Monday, but you just gave me a sip of your coffee. Got a little swig. And every problem just melted away. It I does. don't understand how some people don't drink coffee. I know. It's good for a variety of reasons. But also you know. I feel as though even just one sip and I'm there. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. it was actually, that one sip was a game changer. So good. We had a very busy weekend. If you guys got to catch the show on Friday, we had Altoona native Tom Schweitzer on the show. He is so unbelievably talented. He created a one-man show that he was performing off-Broadway. Mm -hmm. All about his life growing up in 1970s and the 80s, right here in Altoona. Their stories of, you know, it's, it's very yeah. heartfelt. Heartbreak, you know, growing up, the growing pains of that, you know, uh, trauma, mental illness, and, you know, persevering and finding hope. Exactly. Take a look. It felt so amazing. Can you please help us have a good Christmas day? What do you say? And could you please tell Santa to bring me a Rubik's Cube? And a my dog has fleas game. That Kermit the Frog puppet and that microphone thing where you sing. And please, 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 whatever you do, no husky pants. <laughs> Strike three, you're out. I hate baseball. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, I think baseball might have hated me, but it was worth it because there's a big difference between the dugout and the dance studio, let me tell you. <laughs> but after a few weeks of that, I had to get out of there. Mom, I quit. I quit, they all hate me. The boys on the team hate me, the coach hates me. I can't swing a bat, I can't catch a ball. Last week the coach was handing out positions and I never heard my name. So I asked, what position do I play? And he said, the only position for a boy like me is in line at the concession stand. Oh my God, Tommy, I'm sorry, honey. Oh. You want to make a friend? You want to make a friend? Hmm. Meatballs. <laughs> it worked. Hmm. <laughs> she was right. I started to bring the meatballs to practice and to games, and the boys loved them. So did the coach. That was just a fraction. I mean, so there was laughter. I There was a point where I was just sobbing. Tears were falling on my blouse. And what he did, he played over, I think, 12 different yes. characters. And seamlessly. It was. It was so impressive. And also, he only had a few props. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like he was doing giant outfit changes. But, you know, he'd put on the apron as he played his mother. And his mother was actually part of the Del Grosso family. Yes. So he's talking about meatballs there. Um, and he actually shared with us that Del Grosso means of the large. Of the large. And he said as a growing boy, especially with all the trauma, you know, we don't want to give too much away because he is going to come perform this once again mm -hmm. at the Michler. Um, but he was saying, you know, especially with all everything, his dad, unfortunately, had, I believe, schizophrenia and other, yeah. you know, mental health issues. So his mom thought that the solution to every problem was food. So he said as a growing boy, he was growing horizontally, not vertically. Because meatballs were always the answer. <laughs> yeah, every answer, just like we heard. So he wasn't doing well on the, on the baseball team. He was not very athletic, but that was how he could get into taking dance classes. Yeah. He had to pick up a sport, so. Because he fell meatballs. in love with music as well. And of course, it's about forgiveness and the power of that. And, um, and that's actually why it's called 20 Seconds. Yeah. They say to fully forgive someone, you need to hug them for 20 full seconds. They say it releases endorphins and it's really good. And I mean, that's the, that was his, um, his goal for everybody is to find somebody in your life that you could just, you know, even in your heart, just forgive, forgive them. And uh, what I have to say is it was Broadway right here in the 814, super talented. He and was. we can't wait to see what Tommy does next. We wanna give a quick viewer shout out here to Ken and Maria Brown. Hey guys. They watch the show every single day and they even got to see Tommy on the show on Friday. And we just want to say thank you so much for watching because it really is our 814 family and that means so much. They wake up with their coffee, they said, and watch <laughs> us. Just so like we are now. Do. Yes.